name is Priscilla Goldman and I am a conversational AI specialist at Artificial Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the tryout panel in Teneo Studio. Tryout is a very useful feature that allows you to test and debug your bot without having to publish it first. Let's have a look. Teneo Studio provides a basic tryout where you can test the user input and see the bot response and also an advanced tryout where you get more information about the processing of the input and the output. You can find the basic tryout in the right hand side of the Studio Home tab. Click here to hide and unhide it. Before doing any test in tryout, you want to make sure that the model update has completed. If you see the message model update in progress, then wait a bit until you see the message model update completed. OK, so our model update has completed. Let's try our first input. Good, we seem to get the answer we were expecting. Besides the output text, we also see three small icons below the answer. Let's hover over and see what information they carry. The first icon represents the information of the trigger. We can see that we fired a trigger called order a coffee. We can also see that this trigger has two match requirements, a class and an entity. We can click on the icon to open the trigger. OK, now let's close the flow window again and go back to tryout. The second icon refers to the flow that was raised by the trigger and the third icon is the output that we gave to the user. We can hover over and see what information they provide. Now let's test another input, cappuccino. At this moment, we're in the same dialogue as the previous input, I want to order a coffee. If you want to start a new dialogue, you should restart the session and try out. Later, I'll show you how you can do that. For now, let's try to send the input. You can see that the dialogue and tryout continues. There's no trigger or flow icon this time. This is because the conversation progressed within the same flow. When a conversation progresses within the, new, the same flow, no new trigger or no new flow is raised. Let's continue the conversation. We can see that the chatbot did not understand the input big. Let's try to hover over the trigger icon to see what happened. The input has triggered the flow safety net, which is the flow for all the inputs that the chatbot failed to understand. We should fix this. To fix this, let's click on the output node icon of the previous transaction. Click on the edit button in the top left corner to enter into edit mode. We can see that after the output ask for size, there's a transition called get size. On this transition, we should capture the size that the user mentions. Let's have a look at the match requirements to the right. The match requirement is just one entity called coffee sizes. It understands sizes such as medium and large. The word big is not understood. Let's open the entity and add it. Let's add an entry to cover the word big. Since the word big is a synonym of the word large, the value of the variable size will be the same. Save the entity and close it. Close the flow and go back to tryout. Now let's try the same dialogue again. You can manually restart the session and input all the inputs one by one, but there's an easier way to do it. Select the last input in the conversation that you want to reuse, in this case big. Right click and then select the option replay. When you do that, 
tryout will replay the entire conversation up until the point that you select it. If an answer has changed, the replay will stop there showing you the differences. Click continue to continue the auto replay. You can see that as we have changed the condition of the entity coffee sizes, the response to the input pick has changed. We no longer get the safety net input. Now let's clear the conversation in tryout. We've already accumulated a lot of transactions. To clear the conversation in tryout, you go to the drop down menu next to the advanced button in the top right corner. Keep in mind that when you clear the conversation in tryout, the session is not restarted. To restart the session, you should also go to the drop down menu next to the advanced button and select the option restart. Now let's try a new input, this time one that's a little bit vaguer. We'll input buy coffee. Different from the last time, the chatbot did understand that we said something about coffee, but it failed to understand that our intent was about buying coffee. Let's have a look at the trigger to see what happened. The trigger is called user mentioned coffee, whereas last time we triggered a trigger called I want to buy a coffee. Why is that? Simple tryout will not give us enough information to understand what happened. So we'll need to go to the advanced tryout to have a look. Advanced tryout provides more details about the processing of the input and it will help us understand why we entered into a different flow this time. Open the advanced tryout by clicking on the advanced button in the top right corner. Let's first check the input panel. In this section, you can find information about the input classification, annotations, and the input processing. We can see that the input was annotated with the class order a coffee, but the confidence was only a little above 8%. Also, it was annotated with two other classes with a similar confidence score. That is probably why order a coffee was not triggered this time. Let's try to compare with the previous input. The confidence for the class order a coffee is now above 53% and it has no competitors. It seems like we found the problem. There are several ways to solve this. For instance, you can add the failing example as new learning data to the class in the class manager, or you can add a new trigger with a condition match requirement to pick up on the input. Now let's check what other information the advanced tryout provides. The path panel contains the entire information about the processing of the input. We can see that first the engine dropped the flow raised by the previous input by coffee, then raised a new flow called user wants to order a coffee by the trigger order a coffee. After that, we reached an output node ask for coffee type and stop there waiting for a new user input. The output panel contains information about the output text and output parameters. In this case, we only have output text, so there's no output parameters to see. If we had any, they would also appear here. The state panel shows us the value of all flow variable and glow variables at this point of the conversation. We can see that the variable coffee size does not have a value. Let's try to say cappuccino to see if it can get one. Great, now the variable ordered coffee type has the value cappuccino. Now let's have a look at the last panel, messages. The messages panel will display information that we receive during the conversation. For instance, if we have added a print line, we will be able to see them here. Also, if we have an error in one of our scripts, a warning sign will be displayed here. 
To see an example, we'll add some incorrect code to one of our global scripts. Save the script and go back to the advanced tryout. Now let's restart tryout and say something. We can see that we're getting a warning. Let's go to the Messages panel for the details. In the Messages panel, we can see the print line that we have added, and we can also see that one of our scripts is making use of an undeclared variable. In this video, you've learned how to use the basic tryout for simple testing of your inputs. And you've also seen how you can use the advanced tryout for more sophisticated debugging. For more information about this feature, have a look at our online documentation on Teneo.ai. And if you have any questions, then feel free to raise the hand in the forum, also on Teneo.ai. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.